Riddle me this! Who is this? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the McFarlane Toys, the Batman, the Riddler! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, in the background, we have a lot of comic booky goodness going on. DC Multiverse, the Batman, on this side, the Riddler, on this side, the Riddler, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes, on the top, the Batman, on the back of the box, you have an obligatory product shot there of the Riddler and your cross cells, and that's basically it for... The packaging, also included, is the collector's card with that same image of the Riddler. That's on the back of the box. And on the back, you get a little bio on him, if that interests you. Hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have the Riddler from The Batman. And uh, yes, as you can see, it's a totally... Totally different take here on the Riddler. Very, very different. Very interesting. Okay. Sure. 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 But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that chest, at that noggin. Oh, there's the noggin. Yeah, take Pretty nicely done. Head sculpt here. You get some nice detail there in the mask. Some nice uh, stitching going on in there. He does wear his glasses over his mask. Um, you can see his eyes behind it. Um, it's a little obscured, but you can see his eyes behind it. He is looking off to the side. Which again is weird because I think all of these figures are looking off to one side or the other. I don't know why, but hey, it's a thing. And you got the back of his head here. Again, you got some nice detailing. It looks like there's almost like he's wearing like a like a bag or like a clear bag over his head or something, and then has the mask on over it. I don't know how it works in the movie, but that's what it looks like. And the jacket just done all in green. You get some little bits of gray in there in the collar. Lots of nice detailing. You got some nice wrinkles going on there. Buttons, stitching. Little question mark symbol there. Got some gloves on. Good, lots of nice detailing. Going down the pants and the boots. Again, it's all quite nicely detailed. Even the bottoms of the boots have some nice detailing. And moving up the back, got the Riddler booty, got the hood. And overall, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, um, the head... <laughs> let's talk about the head. Um, so, <laughs> the joint on my copy of this figure was really tight, and I was just trying to turn his head, and in doing so, I, um, I, I, I ripped his head off. I just, I just sheared that post off. That just, that's, that's just broken. That's just broken. But the neck is on a ball joint, as you can see. This is just tight to move on its own. There you go. It's just too tight. It's really tight. On my copy, anyway. I hope that's not... I hope this isn't like a widespread thing, but... My copy, this was way too tight, and I, I ripped his head off. But I'm sure his head can do a lot of wiggly-waggly and up and down and rotation. I tried to rotate it, and his head came off, but yeah. Just be careful. Be careful with that. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Um, you got that butterfly joint in there. It allows for some forward and backward movement. You got bicep rotation. You have, you know what, just stay decapitated. He has a double jointed elbow. So you have full range of movement there. You have wrist rotation. And you also have that hinge in there that allows the hand to move up and down or in and out, depending on how you have that oriented. Um, the jacket does hinder, like, all the articulation in the body here. Like, he does have an upper torso joint, and he does have a proper waist joint, and they're both on ball joints. Um, but just due to the jacket... The jacket is made out of rubber, by the way, so it does, you know, it, it moves, but it still very much hinders all those joints in there. Otherwise, you could probably get a lot of motion out of them. You can get some waist rotation in there, at least. Uh, legs can go uh, forward about that far. Again, the jacket gets in the way back that far. Outward. Get about that far. Um, you have a little bit of thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee. So you have full range of movement there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down. You do have ankle tiltage rotation, and you even have a toe joint. I'm going to put his head back on. Yay! There he is. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he just includes one. He has this, which I did not know what this was at first, but apparently it is an ice pick. 
I believe, but you know, it's done you know, like a gunmetal gray. And he can hold this, and he can, uh, he can, he can, you know, fix some ice, and his head can fall off again. You know, it's all right. <laughs> oh man, there you go. Put that in his hand. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Why can't Riddler's head stay on? There you go. <laughs> there he is <laughs> with his ice pick, and he also has. The black disc of Basage right there with the DC logo on it. And his head's gonna fall off again. And you can <laughs> plug him onto it and keep him there nice and secure. And hopefully his head will stay nice and secure as well. Hooray for secure heads. But there you have that. And for comparison, here is the Riddler with the Batman. And here is the Riddler with the Batman and the Catwoman. So. There you go! So there you have the Riddler, and uh, yeah, very interesting take on the character. Looking forward to seeing how that's going to play out in the movie, but hey, uh, hey, I have an open mind here. I'm going to keep an open mind and uh, see how it all plays out. But, you know, I'm a nicely done figure. Um, It just sucks that I, you know, rip his head off, so that's something you might want to be careful with with this figure. I don't know if it's just my copy or if it's a widespread thing, but still, just be careful. Be careful with the head, but... Oh no, though, I mean, it looks good. It's a nicely done figure. Um, the articulation is hindered a bit by the jacket, so that kind of sucks, but still, it's kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to, you know, a character that wears, like, a full-on jacket like that. It's just, it's gonna happen, but overall, not too bad, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any other The Batman figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Batman The Riddler. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek! Be proud. Boom in your face! Ah, hello there. I'm Vengeance. Okay, yeah, I didn't understand a word you said. See what I did here with my mask? Yeah, do that. Just cut out that bottom part, and people can understand you.